Hello and welcome. My name is Aram Jakob. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can deserialize XML from a file and you deserialize it to another object. So, in, for example, if you have in your project something called DTOs or maybe classes of objects, stuff like that, you can deserialize it to that. In this project, we have a person class. In this person class, if you go to definition, we have attributes F name, L name, and H. Uh, this one belongs to the previous tutorial, so if you haven't seen how to serialize to XML, I will include the link to that video in the description. But I will remove it now. So we have a class person with F name, last name, or L name, and age. And here we are defining, yeah, we don't need it. This also belongs to the previous tutorial. We are defining a list of person here. And we also have pre-made the path where, where we have this XML file. The XML file is where this project is currently placed and the file is called people XML. And we have it somewhere here. Here is the XML file. So if I press on it, we can see that we have two elements in this array of person. So we have F name Aram and Adam. So let's go back, let me open it. Dun, 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 dun. So in this path, we have defined where the uh, where the file is located. Now we have to define an XML serializer. So we do XML serializer, and we call it XS is equal to new XML serializer. And then we have to define what type should it serialize it to. So we should serialize it to type of, and the type of class it should serialize it to is first of a list of class person. So now when it tries to serialize XML, it will try to bind the data to a list of class person. So now we have to open the file and read it. And then we're going to do, do using file stream stream equal file dot open. And then we have to define what path, what file to open. So we're going to open where this project is located, is this uh, XML project. Whoops. And the file is people.xml. And we're going to say the mode should be file mode.open. So it knows to open the file. Furthermore, now we have to assign the deserialization to an object or to a variable. So we're going to say person is equal to list person xs dot deserialize and we're going to deserialize this stream. So Oop, let's see, we are here. Why are you complaining? Bum, 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 expect. Oops, I missed one of these. Perfect. So now this code will, it will ser deserialize this stream to type of list person and assign it to this variable here. So let's see this in action. So now we open this path where we have this people XML and this person is currently an empty object or empty list to say and now it will deserialize this stream. So if I press F10 now, if I go to the person, it has read the XML file and it has deserialized the data so as we can see here. 
the reason why we have this list type of person in parentheses here is because we are telling the code when is when it has deserialized it it is a of type list person and then you can wonder but why do we tell the xml serializer that you should serialize it to type of list person so what what is happening here is that it will deserialize this file to type of list person however we cannot if we remove this part of the code we will get an error here cannot implicitly convert type object to system collection generic list xml person so even though it has deserialized this xml to a type of list person we cannot assign a list person to an object an object is like the mother of all everything in c sharp so person is inheriting from object so person is a type of object but we cannot assign a defined list of person to an object therefore we have to include this part of the code as well so what we are deserializing it to it has also also to be included here so we convert it to type list person all right thank you for watching in my next tutorial i will show almost the same thing but how you can how you do when you have an xml so you don't read it from a file you just have the xml because i can understand if some of you guys say like oh but i'm fetching the xml from the database not from not from a file so i have to provide a solution for that as well thank you for watching see you at the next tutorial bye bye